Day number three of Calgary Flames training camp continue to move forward to the opening night, which is uh, January the 14th for the Calgary Flames. Uh, pleased to welcome in Flames forward Glenn Godden, who stops uh, down, uh, one up, one down for the interview. And uh, Glenn, maybe just first of all, give us your impressions of uh, training camp. A couple guys have mentioned very similar feel in terms of just the way everything's prepared than it was back in the summertime. Yeah, it's, it's pretty similar. Um, obviously, this year, the first three days, they've been pretty high pace. Everyone's eager to be getting going. And... Um, I mean, yeah, you got a short window here before the season starts, so um, we, we need just that, and so far it's been really good. Uh, maybe just uh, what do you, was your sense as you kind of returned to Calgary, and you know, we'll talk about uh, Switzerland in just a moment, but just as you were kind of getting ready for camp and uh, so many of the guys back already and doing their preparations, just that feel around the locker room and uh, how it might have changed as you opened the doors to training camp. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be back. Um, I think everyone is, everyone's eager, like I said, so... Um, these few days coming up leading to the season are going to be intense and I think every day it's ramping up so um, it's definitely there's an excitement and a buzz uh, around the rink and um, I think everyone's just using that um, as motivation and I mean um, obviously there's no fans and stuff like that so uh, mm -hmm. you're going to need to use every little thing you can. Yeah, no question about it. Maybe uh, let's just circle back to the summertime. I mean, obviously it's been, you know, a long off season. Uh, has been uh, quite some time play since playing real action. And I would imagine for you, there's some great anticipation in terms of getting back into some game game feel and some regularity. Um, you know, what has the off season been like for you, and just the way you've been able to kind of prepare in spurts? Uh, it was a different off season for sure, obviously for everybody. But uh, I think it was a lot or a long long time off that I mean could help me, and I think I used it pretty good into my advantage um a lot of time in the gym trying to get stronger faster uh, as cliche as it is i think for my game it's, it's important and something yeah. i've been focusing on for a while so um as much as it wasn't very fun being off the ice for so long and not playing games i think uh it was good to uh i mean get everything done and, and get your body right get back to 100 percent and stuff like that well, and for you, I mean, you've had the polar opposites. I mean, you've gone deep into the playoffs before, kind of going back to junior and other times. Uh, so you've seen what short off season look like and how difficult it is to get training in like that. So I would imagine this is more beneficial in terms of, uh, you know, just that off season and being able to put on some of that weight. Yeah, exactly. Um, there was a few short summers there and I uh, spent a lot of time here in Calgary. And, and this summer um, I was back home in Vancouver and I hadn't done that in a while. So it was the first time I think I was home and. December and close to like seven years so wow, stuff yeah. like that is, is pretty cool and nice to uh, spend some family time. That said I'm sure eager to get going again like we talked about maybe just tell us about uh, the, the trip to Switzerland as you were just kind of uh, speaking about it was a quick trip in the end but you ended up getting in one game and uh, I guess you know chalk that up to a, a, all part of the uh, crazy off season that was. Yeah it was uh, it was a pretty cool experience obviously it was only I think 10 days so uh, I wasn't there as long as I was uh, expecting, but uh, like I said, it was a cool experience. Uh, being able to go overseas at any point is pretty cool, and just to be able to go over there to play hockey um, well, was pretty special. So it was the second time I was actually been to Switzerland, so I had a little familiar, familiar, familiarity with the uh, with the country, and um, it was awesome. It's beautiful, and I mean the the rink was was really nice. The team was awesome, and uh, I mean if I ever have a chance to go back, I think I would. What was the first trip? Uh, under 18s. Under 18s, okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh, maybe just, uh, you know, now a thought kind of as you circle back to the summertime and just maybe that similar feel as you were mentioning. Um, you know, what were the takeaways from there? And, and, you know, was there some things that kind of benefit you as you kind of come into this with a fresh perspective? Yeah, I mean, it, it obviously didn't go the way I wanted um, with an injury towards the end of that camp. So that kind of put a put a dent on in the whole thing for me that yeah. I felt I was uh, I was doing pretty well and I was on the right path. Uh, and obviously being able to, to stick around for the playoff time would be pretty cool. So uh, it was disappointing that that happened, but uh, my focus this off season was getting everything back to 100% and uh, you know coming in here ready to go and trying to uh, push for a spot. Well, and we, you know, we spoke, I think, back at that, uh, you know, training camp uh, back in the summertime as well, just about pushing and how close you kind of felt. I mean, now as you, you kind of talk about, you know, progressing and maturing a little bit, I mean, how... Uh, how do you go about kind of pushing and, and making uh, making sure that those decisions are as tough as they can be? Yeah, I think you just got to come to work every day. Um, that's It's professional hockey now, and, and especially with this quick, I think, two-week camp or mm -hmm. whatever it is uh, leading up to this season, uh, it's coming quick, and you got to be ready every single day. And uh, every day you got to get better because it's such a short, small window, and you got to be um, detail-oriented. I mean, you got to know the systems and all that stuff that we're getting a lot of information and 
um, you got to take that all in. But at the end of the day, um, I think you just got to come to work every day and, and let the, everything on the ice take care of itself. Kind of not letting any opportunity go to waste, I assume, huh? Yeah, exactly. Well, listen, we appreciate the time and uh, all the best as the rest of camp rolls on and look forward to seeing things progress. Thank you very much.